someone hot. Mackenzie Soroki, recent University of Tennessee swimming commit. Mackenzie, what's up? How's it going? Great, couldn't be better, you know. Pretty good week so far. It's a good start of the day being on the podcast. So. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Um, so obviously, this was big news for us. For, for the whole swimming community, this was a pretty exciting announcement just because you had committed to play D1 hockey at the University of Minnesota Duluth. Uh, you recently mm-hmm. switched that commitment. First off, um, when did you start considering making this switch from hockey to swimming? You know, the last time we spoke, you kind of gave us a comparison. You know, you're, you're top 25 in the nation for hockey. Um, and so just in terms of making that switch, what went into that for you in the beginning of this decision? I mean, so, uh, during my senior year, uh, I'm in like the 100 breast. Uh, the more and more I thought about it, it's like I that time conversion thing on uh, online, like to long stuff. And like, I really started thinking about it and like, Maybe I'll gap year and get an Olympic trial cut for the 100 breast and then go to hockey and then take that gap year and return to hockey. But, but, I mean, the more I thought about it and I dropped it, it just kept sticking in my brain and that, you know, I, I, I still got a lot of work to do. I feel like I feel like uh because I feel like I never really been my full potential in swimming yet. And for me, it gives me more motivation in swimming. It's just like knowing that at a time and um, I could still go farther in the sport, uh, whether it's like Olympic trials and then maybe in future years, you know, like actually make you know, you know dream mine. And so um, just like college. Swimming wise, I think swimming it just helped my, you know, technique stroke and you know, my times focus and like my pull outs and all that kind of stuff, you know, truly will drop time and full attention after this last hockey season to be able to give my full attention to swim because you know, swimming the summer just in the summer for the past so like in the summer for five weeks, an hour a day for fun, and then you know going to high school with like three months of a season. So, I mean, now that in uh, in high school I was also playing hockey, so I've never actually been able to get attention on it. You know, I'm always like I would still be playing hockey, but now that I'm gonna be able to, it's just like it gets. It's more exciting every day. I like think about it to, to, to what I what I've fallen in love with. It's yeah, I've truly just fallen in love with swimming. Yeah, I I am curious just about how you would manage hockey and swimming. You know, like the I guess each on season and then each off season. Like when you started swimming high school. And especially as you continue doing so sophomore, junior, senior year, how long do you feel like it would take for you to get like in swim shape? It was kind of rough because like if it felt, you know, they say, you know, it takes a while to get it. It takes me, I would say like a month or so to feel really bad. And then by the time that happens, we have our big misca meet and it's like, oh, then we have conferences and then by that I'm tapering so like I've always wanted like I get in shape and then I'll get in shape and then work harder work harder work harder which like I like but I feel like it's it's it just goes by so quick sometimes that I'm in shape and now we're gonna taper in like two weeks which yeah it's the schedule so yeah. Um, so again, you have committed to Tennessee to swim. You decided to take a gap year to, to chase that Olympic trials cut in the 100 breast, which you've never swam long course before. You've never trained long course before. I'm, I was curious because I know we've talked about this, but have you ever 
swam in a long course pool in your life? Uh, no, I want to so bad because uh, I think like I, I feel like I can and like I love having momentum. So like just being able to go all stopping me, you know, every once in a while. Is, is, I think I feel like I'm gonna enjoy it. But yeah, this summer or in like the next couple months, I'm gonna be starting again. I'm I'm excited about it. I I feel like I feel like it's gonna be fun. I, I uh, just being able to just go go go. It's my kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I uh, before this, I was watching videos uh, online of your races of your hundred breast at state meets specifically and. I mean, I think anyone who sees your stroke, it's like you you build momentum so quickly um, and you have the, your breaststroke has such a natural rhythm to it that it's like, yeah, it seems like if, if you didn't have the walls, it might even even be a better thing. So that'll be really exciting. Um, and then take me through the rest of just this senior year for you. Are you playing hockey right now? Are you swimming right now? Um, like what season are you in? So. I I'm in my hockey season, which will go till next month. Uh, like the hockey, like the final state uh, state championship game would be I think it's March 18th, and so like after that, I like I'll fully be in the swim. Um, I work with my coach, and we just do like a couple like a couple days a week if really loosen out or you know just get a feel for the water still because I have water right now. Just just kind of sometimes we'll just do a couple sets of, you know, and, and that kind of stuff. But, I mean, it's nothing like crazy training right now, right now since, you know, on this last season in hockey. So, yeah, it mainly just a couple times, two to ten. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then for this gap year, just kind of take me through what you're planning for it in terms of are you going to be taking classes during it? What's the training going to be looking like? And what are you looking forward to about getting to dedicate yourself <laughs> full time to swim? Yeah. So, I I mean, first off, yeah, yeah, just nonstop for the rest of the month. Like, it's like, oh, I usually have, you know, I'm gone, gone for high. I mean, I mean, now it's going to be able to, I'll be able to do like two days and uh, really like get this in so, so the plan like during summer you know, you know train get in long course try to get in a couple long course meets you know my coach wants to find some and then um uh once like the fall all comes around um my coach is probably end up training like kind of at my high school with him a little you know Learnings and that kind of stuff, and then do weight training, and, and uh, yeah, I'd like to probably like two or three classes I can transfer over to Tennessee just to just to be occupied. So that's the plan. Sounds like a pretty good plan. Uh, it, it also sounds su super exciting to see how that goes with you swimming year round, um, but it's obviously you were an athlete year round, right? I mean, you're always doing something. I am kind of curious, do you feel like any skills that you have honed, that you've trained lifelong in hockey transfer over to swimming at all? Um, I just feel like the way like my mentality came just started from playing hockey because like going in Chile, you know, you know, not being a year-round swimmer and competing against all these girls have been doing this like, for their life. This is their main sport at the time. So, like, it, it was a little intense. And, like, at the end of the day, I was like, all you got to do is compete, compete, compete. So, uh, I think hockey has taught me just, just, like, the competitive mindset that, like, it's been helping me with that side. But, um, um, you know, I still plan to like, like just keep the like my stride work going, like because I feel like that's 
probably helped, you know, my kick and my stride for hockey. But, uh, I mean, those are that that I think has, like, contributed just, like, a little, little bit of the competitiveness and, you know, my life. Yeah, absolutely. I we in uh, in your comment article we had a few comments that were like, oh, you know, like skating builds really good leg and core strength. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like I never, I never thought about that yeah. um, in the in that way. Um, so in terms of uh, you committing to Tennessee, can you take me through the process of once you decided that you were going to switch from hockey to swimming? Um, how did, how did you go about, you know, letting people know that? And then how did you ultimately end on Tennessee? Yeah. So so it first started, you know, just, uh, it just kept, you know, no swims. Like after they me, I was like, there's no way this is over. Like, I think I want, like, I want to keep going. And so I, I talked to my family and just like put on it too and let them know what I I was thinking and like ultimately came to like what I wanted. So after that, you know, I called Duluth and just thanked them for like giving me like like opportunity wise and for you know trusting me in the process for all they've done. That that the staff, I I am so grateful for them. Like just for to this day, you know, I still I still text them and. They're great coaches. I, I know in that part, you know, I would have been going a good program for hockey just because, you know, how they still me and I respect them after still, you know, going through this. So after um, the committed, since I had never signed my NOI, uh, I, then I started in schools, um, just like ones that I could see myself at. And I, uh, more phone calls, uh, just talking to my coaches, trying to get to know them and their program. And after that, I started going on some visits, and um, I went on all, all of them by myself to, you know, because then I don't really have anyone's, like, input by my, like, where I feel is right and how I feel. But, I mean, I, I uh, visits, I would take a notebook, write, write down, you know, everything about there and I'll bring it home to my family. um yeah so it just kind of came down to that and you know when I was when I was at that they say a lot of people say like when you on your visits you, like when you get there you feel at home and that's kind of how I was when I when I went down there you know the whole time I was there it was, I, I kind of forgot not like forgot it's just like wow like I'm somewhere else it's like I felt so comfortable there you know, I felt connected to the team. You know, the coaches were all, uh, like, like it was just it was just great feeling to be there, and I I could see myself here. I, I truly do. So uh, so after that, um, and just went to my family, told them about it, and, and I mean they were all for it. They loved me, and they said, you know, it's, it's however if you felt comfortable there that's that's where you're yeah I mean that's awesome and it's congrats on on getting a feeling like that somewhere especially once you've visited other schools for a completely different sport I would think mm -hmm. you know if you're when you're looking for different things than the first go around it, it might be a little disorienting or just a different experience I'm guessing um, but I think that's really cool that you took a notebook and actually wrote things down of like, okay, this is this is what I'm observing. Um, I think that's that, that shows a really high level of awareness on your part. Um, do you compared to like my hockey visits? You know, uh, like what kind of different things? As far as like, oh, they got this kind of training. Thing. You know, it, that was like the first thing, thing that I that wow, like I gotta like it was it was definitely a shift of like what you know kind of what in the school and the sports so it was kind of cool like what uh like for me still getting into swim a lot like like at my high school I, I just kind of worked with, with training like we kind of just used a kick 
surfboard and swim and like we do we do um I want to use like water towers more and stuff like that so it's kind of cool like different techniques and different kind of training they have so that I think that was like really cool part of the swim visit each school trains and what kind of how they like they come up with some creative uh, that, was, that was really cool on the swim part <laughs> I am with you there I mean as someone who whose job it is to go travel and look at different programs. Uh, it's been really interesting and, and a really great experience getting to see how creative college programs get, because it seems like, especially now, the, everyone's using power towers, everyone's using parachutes, you know, like there's all these different ways of, of building and generating power or resistance that people get really creative with. And so super fun to see. And um, just being at Tennessee myself, you know, it was, uh, they, they, they have some really fun things that they do as well. Okay. So yeah, it's exciting. It's, it's exciting. Um, well, Mackenzie, thanks so much for taking the time to sit down and chat. Congrats on your commitment. Do you have any, you. any, anything we missed? Any parting thoughts before we sign off today? Oh, I think it's all good.